to week eight of my minimalism challenge. This week we are talking about paperwork. Now we all have paperwork and it very, very quickly accumulates into a lot of paperwork. Even if you just think you're bringing the bills and paper and the mail that you've just had delivered, it means you're still bringing more paperwork you don't need into your home. This could be anything from junk mail to bank statements. My rule with paperwork is that generally it can all go. Other than things like birth certificates and marriage licences and certificates and things like that, other than that, it can all go in the bin. If you think about things like your appliance booklets, you don't really need those either. All appliance information can be found online. Just do a quick Google search and you'll be able to find the manual that you need online. So your task this week is to track down every bill provider and bank that you use and anything else that could cause you to have posts coming through your mailbox. The idea is you want to try and tackle this post before it actually reaches our doors. So it means you've got less to sort out, sorry if you just heard my clock go there. So it means you've got less to sort out in the long run and less worry about what's going to come into your home in the future. Now generally a lot of things that come through your post can quite easily be sent in email format. So things like your bills, they can be sent via email, even receipts nowadays a lot of the time can be emailed to your inbox rather than having a paper copy. Next up the more difficult task of photos. Photos again are also paperwork and a lot of the photos you don't actually use are just stored in boxes and left as they are. Now I want you to either put the, the photos you really want into an album to keep and look at or download photo scan. Now this is something I did with every single photograph, new and old, that I had. Uh, photo scan basically you take a photo of it with your phone and it scans it in as a photo which you can then put on your laptop to keep or to upload to cloud or wherever you want to put it. By doing it like this as well it means that all your old photos that were going to get damaged and were probably starting to crumple and fall apart as they were are now going to be safe and sound in a digital format. I hope you had fun sorting through all your old memories. A lot of the paperwork you find is probably an actual memory. Again these can just be taken a photo of to keep for the long run or just binned as you don't really need it. Thank you very much for watching again guys. If you enjoyed this please give it a big like and a big thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to tune in to next week's. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!